Let me show you guys how I make my birria. Here, I have about four pounds of diosmillo or chuck. I also like to add bone when making birria, so I'm gonna add some ribs because it's all about the consomme, right? So we wanted to taste good. Add some bone. To the meat, we're gonna add a whole garlic head, half a piece of onion, beef and chicken bouillon, and about four to five bay leaves. For our chiles, we're gonna use about 12 guajillos, three pasillas, about six puyas, and four chile de arbol. Remove the stems and seeds from the chiles, rinse them, and then put them to boil with two tomatoes. Once your chiles have softened and cooled off, a bit you're gonna throw them into your blender with half a garlic head quarter piece of onion about an inch of ginger all these spices i'm gonna list on the screen a quarter cup of vinegar a little bit of water and then we blend until smooth and we strain the sauce into our raw meat then we mix everything together let this come to a boil cover and simmer for two to three hours until the meat is nice and tender and don't forget to occasionally go in there and skim the gunk from your birria once the meat is tender and your birria is ready you're gonna go in here and skim all the fat this is the fat you're gonna use to make your quesadilla tacos nasty and crispy that's why i don't trim it more color more flavor to my tacos in this case i wasn't making the quesadilla tacos i was making tamales so i cut the meat into little pieces stuff them in my tamales with some cheese and then i cook them and this is what the tamales look like in the inside and to go along with your tamales you're gonna need your consomme for dipping and that's it guys that is how i make my birria hope you like this recipe bye Let's pack today's lunchbox for our friends and followers. Today we're making them some delicious chicken and moladas, which is basically the same thing as an enchilada but made out of mole. I am gonna cheat a bit and buy my mole pre made because work smarter, not harder. The paste is already made for me and I don't even have to buy 1,171 ingredients. Do fry up some onions and garlic and give it a little extra, you know, non a joe. Add a little bit of tomato sauce, chocolate abuelita, some chicken broth, a little bit of salt. You can also add some extra chile de arbol if you want it extra spicy. But my people are weenies. They don't like it spicy then you blend the sauce until smooth pour it back into that oil where we fried our onions and our garlic your shredded chicken give it a quick little mix and then you're ready to make your enmoladas but first we're gonna make a quick curtido with onions and jalapenos because every time i eat mole i need to have my curtido anybody else or i'm just the only weird one so i slice up my purple onions my jalapenos add some lemon juice salt and then i let that curtirse now we get to make the enmoladas warm up your tortillas and a little bit of oil we're not gonna let them get nice and crispy they're only gonna warm up through the purpose for that is because you're gonna dip your tortilla into the mole sauce the oil is gonna prevent the tortilla from absorbing too much sauce making your tortilla swell soggy you get it anyways stuff them up with your chicken roll them up make sure they don't bust in your face then i add them in my box drizzle some more of that mole sauce add a side of mexican rice and i'm not done with those enmoladas we are not gonna let them look like that we're gonna crumble some queso fresco drizzle it with a little bit of sour cream and of course our curtido today they had the option between a soda or a cucumber strawberry agua fresca and they all chose the agua fresca and that's it guys i'm just gonna get everything ready for them so they can come and pick up during lunchtime. Bye! Let me show you guys how I make my Mexican rice. I'm gonna use about a cup and a half of rice. Whether you wash it or not, that's your business. Your kitchen, your choice. I use the cheapest rice there is at the store. The cheaper, the better for me. Food is way too expensive for me to try to get bougie with rice. Just coat the bottom of my favorite rice making pot with a lot of bit of oil with a small piece of onion and then I fry up the rice. In this blender, I have two tomatoes, a small piece of onion, two garlic cloves, some salt and chicken bouillon to taste. Then we blend it and we make it into a paste or you can just use a simple can of tomato. It doesn't matter if it's not fresh, it's still gonna be Mexican rice. Once your rice has a nice golden brown color, you're gonna pour your salsa in there and you're gonna let it fry for about a minute or two. This is gonna give your rice more flavor. Ratio one to two, one cup of rice, two cups of water or broth or whatever liquid you want to use. I'm going to use chicken stock. I'm going to add a small little piece of cilantro. That's flavor. Jalapeno flavor. Plus I eat it after, you know, my rice is done. Let it come to a boil. Cover it up. Let this simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes and do not open that cap. When you open, it's going to look a little bit on the mushy side, but that's because you use fresh veggies. Just give it a quick fluff and it goes away. And that's it, guys. That's how I make my Mexican rice. Hope you like this recipe. Bye. Let me show you guys how to make some jalapeno popper birria egg rolls. I have some leftover birria and it's not going to go to waste, so we had to find something to do with it. So here I have some jalapenos. I'm going to de-gut them and then stuff them with some Oaxaca cheese and some mozzarella. Then I wrap them up in some bacon, stick them to my air fryer at 400 degrees until they get nice and crispy. About 10 to 15 minutes. Once they're out of the oven, you're going to let those cool off before putting them inside the egg roll. I'm going to make a bed of the leftover birria we have. We're going to add some more Oaxaca cheese, some onion and cilantro, and our jalapeno jalapeno popper then we roll them up make sure they don't bust in our face because this egg roll was a big papa egg roll this one we're gonna make a lid on the thinner side because i did overdo it in the other one i'm also gonna make 
some without the jalapeno popper for my kids and for my hubby. I just make sure that I double up in meat, a double up in cheese, and then I roll them up. Now I'm just gonna stick them into my deep fryer until they get nice and crispy, but you can also put them in your air fryer. Train them up for a couple of minutes before placing them on your plate. To go along with the egg rolls, we're gonna add our consomme for dipping. Just make sure to huck it up with all of the toppings necessary. Here I am risking my fingertips to show you guys the inside of this egg roll and it was well worth it. Look how delicious this looks. I swear, birria egg rolls is probably the second best way to eat them. First one being tacos, of course. And that's it guys, hope you like this recipe, bye! Let me show you guys a quick little snack using grapes. I've been seeing this snack go around my For You page for quite a while and I think it's time we try it. We're gonna wash some strawberries and then we're going to use these forritos of chamoy. Basically, they're chamoy wraps. You pop them in the microwave for about 10 seconds until they get soft and pliable. Then you flatten it out, put your grape in there, cover it up and roll it until it looks like this. I know it's a tedious job, but somebody has to do it and trust me, it is worth it. Once all your grapes are covered, you're going to dip them into some tahini or into whatever chili powder fruit seasoning you have i just make my own mixing all kinds of chili powders at this point you can just pop them in your mouth and eat them like that or in my case i'm gonna cut them in half and prepare them by adding a little bit of pomegranate seeds because pomegranate seeds make everything better i love pomegranate seeds so we're just gonna sprinkle some on our grapes and then we're gonna drizzle it with some delicious chamoy and that's it guys nothing else is needed here and that is how we make our uvas preparadas or our prepared grapes whatever loaded grapes hope you like this recipe bye Let me show you guys a quick breakfast at Nana Joe's. Today we're making homemade McGriddles. And yes, I am gonna cheat. I'm gonna use a box pancake mix because I'm feeling lazy. My husband got this gadget tool for Christmas, so we're gonna put that to use. We're gonna put a little bit of syrup on the pancake batter. That way the syrup is inside the pancake and then it gets a nice caramel caramelization. Caramelization. Caramelized. Anyways, let me show you guys what I mean. This is what I mean. The outside is supposed to be normal and crispy because of the syrup. Now we begin to assemble our McGriddles. We're gonna add some cheesy eggs, our sauce sausage patties, some hash browns, and eggs on top of eggs. I don't care. That's how I like it. Then you top it off with another pancake, split it in half so you can see the inside, and I already know what you're gonna say. Oh my god, so much cholesterol. Like I said, it's our cholesterol we don't want to share anyways. Dipping sauce, syrup, and sriracha. You need to try it. And that's it, guys. Hope you like this recipe. Bye!